hi today i want to uh, explain about um, parameterizing the connections parameterizing the connection is one of the ma uh, major major topic in informatica because uh, after completing after completing the project i already explained this framework job project uh, parallel flow and concurrent flow in my real time pro e-commerce project uh, you can find in my youtube channel playlist uh, i already completed this project so this project after completing of this project we have to uh, perform some testing on this uh, on this data sample data on this uh, all these sessions workflows are working or not uh, and all we have to uh, test uh, it will be uh, sorry it the framework job will be undergoing three tests one is U uit test uit test uit test uh, sit test and uat test unit sorry unit test sit test service integration test and uh, user acceptance test unit test was uh, uh, performed by ourselves only unit test we have to do we, ha we have to do unit test uh, some various parameters we have to meet unit test like uh, any duplicacy or there any count is matching or not like that we have to check for unit test they will give one um one uh, one excel sheet they we have to perform unit test as per that uh, excel sheet after performing unit test actually uh, before performing unit test we have to uh, create three folders there are three fold three types of folders in our repository de development development folder testing folder and production folder after completion of the development we have to migrate that code from dev folder to uh, testing folder in the testing folder we have to test the data with sample data later later we have to uh, we have to send all these connection details to testing team sit team uh, testing team is there uh, from our company uat test will be performed by client side so sit test will be performed by our cell our employees our our company employees separate testing team will be there those are called informatica testers like that uh, as a developer we have to develop and perform unit test later we have to send all the connection details to our testing team the testing uh, those testing people uh, perform testing so we ha how we have to give the connections connection details so first of all giving these connection details to testing team we have to parameterize uh, parameterize all the connections we have to parameterize all the connections uh, the main benefit of parameterizing connections is it's a dynamic uh, uh, means um, it, it uh, did not disturb the uh, work session wor workflows sessions and mapping logics anything all after performing see sit unit test sit test user acceptance test uh, even though after uh, that project was accepted and undergone undergone production also it went to production also after after six months seven months later client again uh, came with uh, new uh, new business logics at that time so not business logics at that time client required to change the names of sessions session names and workflow names client asked to change the workflow session names and work uh, workflow names at that time what we have what we can do uh, again we have to create source source qualifier mappings and again generate workflows again generate workflows sessions and all so i uh, entire mapping logic will get disturbed at that time again we have to perform on so many te unit test uh, set test uat test so so at that time if we parameterize all the connections we no need to disturb any mapping or any sessions or any workflows no need to disturb any business logics without disturbing any business logics or any mapping flow or session flow we can rename all these we can rename we can rename easily all these session names also without disturbing mapping flow we can rename all these session names also by using parameterized connections parameterized connections parameterized connection topic so here there are one one two three four five seven ten 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 sessions are there 
10 sessions are there uh, we have to we want to parameter all parameterize all the connections here i am explaining about how to parameterize the, these connections see pa for parameterizing the connections we have to go informatic tool sorry informatica tool informatica server in server infra said folder is there in folder bw param folder is there in this folder we have to create one list of parameterizing the connections list of parameterized connections see actually this is already tried in middle of the tie stop see this is the main uh, structure of parameterizing the connections first of all what to do folder name we have to give workflow name folder name dot workflow colon workflow name dot session task colon session name first of all what is the folder name here in which folder it is there mini mini project e-commerce right in that folder we have to give that folder name okay Fol folder name give folder name folder name letter workflow name what is the workflow name workflow name you can go edit here this is the workflow name directly copy paste don't uh, better to copy paste, paste instead of typing for uh, uh, avoid further any pro issues and problems and all like that workflow name and session task name first first i want to do for this this mapping flow for this this session sorry for this session Okay. File. Yeah, of course. In this way, we have to give folder name, uh, workflow name, and session name. Now, see, I will remove this here. Now, we have to give connection details of that session here what are the connections we have go to mapping source source connection and staging connection is there source connection for source connection click on this src here use connection variable connection variable take it connection variable paste it says source sorry instead of here writing uh, connection underscore this is src right s r c s r c for this capital s r c that's for identification purpose cancel now paste here is equal to this this term this terminology is equal to relational connection of the table relational connection of this table now in this way we have to parameterize that session for source again it's called staging also there again staging stg copy cancel paste is equal to what is the relational connection of staging this one right two connections here two connections only stage for first the first session for this session two connections only 
again for this for this for this entire all these sessions workflow is same right no need to change workflow so for this session again staging dimension constraints we have to give right so again copy paste folder is same workflow is same this session session is different session is different so copy the session dim right again here what are the connections are there mapping connections staging connection is there dim connection is there staging connection we already give already already wrote here so again you can copy paste from there so, so here target connection we have to give target connection use connection variable tgt control on control c cancel okay here here what is that relational relational connection for dimension table yeah for any other relational connection dimension table look up also a target uh, target schema target rela relational connection so no need to give again for lookup so here is equal to paste it that's it target now again we have you can again for this src products staging products stage cut customers dim customers here what is for products for products here simply for products also same staging source and staging for dim products stage products also source and stage dim products all dim products stays and same so here we can simply we can simply copy paste all these copy and paste just session names session names customers instead of customers what products right just name just rename just replace with products just may replace with products here dim products right that's it for this for this product next is employees replace with replace with employees sorry here again copy paste It is, it is a little bit tough way but there is another simple way uh, to denote all these connections easily uh, first of all let's go with uh, some some complex way later we will go with uh, simple way right employees with this with employees replace with employees products again two times copied we have to replace employees employees later what is this dealership dealership cancel Dealership, dealership, sorry, dealership two times only. Also dealership, also dealership. Next 
n plus 2 times fellowship 2 times what is the last one dealership and staging connections here staging connections are src stg there is no dim for this one so src stg uh, stg is enough src stg is enough for this for this what sales transaction one let's learn letter src stg sales also stg src src constant is there src stg right later we create we, we created all the parameter connections to all these 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 9 types of connections this one stays and fact is also same just we can simply replace with name somewhat little bit different looking that's why this also little bit different I added extra underscore in this session Source and stress connections in this way one two three for ten connections for ten sessions we have to create ten workflows sorry ten ten parameterized connections in this way now later what we have to do control as save after saving this go to workflow edit here we have to give parameter file name in workflows go to workflow edit properties here give parameter file path what is the pa path of pa this parameter file here control control a control c give 
then backslash copy dot it's a text pen dot txt not after txt in this way we have to give parameter file name path of the parameter file name path okay okay that's it control s see Validation completed. Completed with no errors. That's it. In this way, we have to give parameterized connections. And one another way is there. Uh, see, instead of instead of creating n number of times, we can simply delete all sorry first of all once execute this parameter Yeah, all are successfully running. Yeah, succeeded. See, succeeded. Everything succeeded. Data also will get flow completed. Right. Let's check if you want to. Do. Where is the target scheme? Select star from what is fact load I think fact sales yeah see what is it something happened yeah precision we did not whenever we run that uh, work frame framework job if new records are not if new records not inserted you have to you have to stay we have to change that reset the precision value right click on this reset the precision value view see precision value reset the precision value okay reset the precision value okay reset the precision value okay this one also this one also now start workflow See whether data is not important. Fifty two something somewhere we did not uh, truncate and load uh, load is not worked well or some table data might change. Actually thirty records we have we will get at that first time. 
okay it's not an issue okay that uh, p- uh, parameterizing connections if any issue is there in parameterizing connection the session will get fail automatically so there is, uh, in this way you can give parameterize the you can parameterize all the connections here uh, this is a, a it's very long process so instead of doing all these you can go, you can simply uh, remove this session name control sorry yeah here here oh here source and stage we are given but target relation we did not give sorry in the previous video target relationship i uh, did not give so let's see here here you can give uh, target relation connection target relation connection is nothing but here tct tct connection tct 15 underscore tct tct oh the first mapping there is no tct right okay cancel here copy is equal to copy the relation if we remove if you remove as particular session name session task name this uh, how it will works now in this mini project uh, mini project mini project e-commerce folder for this workflow for this workflow what are the sessions are there for all the all those sessions for all those sessions it will consider it will consider for all those sessions so in all those sessions see in all those sessions what are the com- major connections see here what are the connections mapping connection source and staging source and stage connection here in this mapping what is stage and stage and target connection so in remaining all all are same source stage demo source stage target source stage target repeated right so here that what i did source stage target tct so in this way in this way we have to remove the session we have session name particular session name so later then wha- how it will work it will it will consider as consider to enter folder enter folder enter folder of those remaining all the connection enter folder session connections enter folder session connections if if we given that folder name here folder name mini project if we change any um, final touch Uh, pro final touch folder name and we st- if ch- if you give that uh, any workflow name in that final touch folder uh, work f- w- for that particular workflow uh, and which are which are the sessions workflow contains sessions right which are the sessions are there in that particular workflow for all those sessions right this uh, this uh, this connections will be useful right in this way you can minimize the uh typing and all and one more is there simply uh this will work for uh, uh, one folder only if we give if we remove this and give global give global g l o b l then how it will work these connections where these connections will work for entire enter all the folders in that repository enter all the folders this all final touch folder is there mini project sansom somesh somsan for all these projects for all these projects those connections will work those connections parameter connections will work for entire repository entire repository folders if you give global right don't say that. see 
here instead of giving all stg tgt okay instead of giving all this just simply delete all and delete the session name delete the session name and one more connection tgt connection target connection tgt and here also tgt tgt ha, tgt 15 actually my relation connection is tgt 15 so that's why i am taking tgt 15 tgt tgt day 15 control s this, this, uh, this will work for only this folder only which folder you were given for that folder only it will work for that folder in that folder so many workflows are there for this particular workflow for this work particular workflow only it will work for this particular work for this particular folder only these connections will work control s that's it this is all about uh, parameterizing the parameterizing all the connections this is one of the important topic in informatica because para, um, uh, through parameterizing connection details only we can send uh, we can send details to our manager our manager will send connection details to testing team testing team later uh, our senior manager will send all those connection details to uh, client side team uat testing team so based on these connection details only uh, testing all the all those testings uh, will perform